Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Hope you had a great night's sleep after the uh, volatile days we had the last couple of days. Uh, and welcome to this new video on Ethereum. I uh, wanted to do a full overview of Ethereum. Last time I covered it, we were still down here. No, we were actually right here. Uh, but we still were kind of at around 1680. Yesterday, obviously, as most of you know, the inflation rate was, well, uh, positive i guess it wasn't that positive but it just was more positive than expected i think um so that caused us to rally all the way up to 1600 or 1760 and 1780 in this entire level where the top uh, it has not been reached yet it's 1800 uh, but we went up there and then yesterday evening got a lot of bearish momentum made us drop back down to to 1680 but we did stay above that so purely technically, that brings us uh, back at where we were in the middle of February, this kind of area, uh, because right now our main resistance again is 1720 and our main support is uh, between 1680 and 1660. That's just where we are right now. To visualize that a little bit better for you, <clears throat> this is kind of the, the area which we are in and we're trying to get a bullish breakout or a bearish breakout. And in this video, I mainly wanted to talk about which one is more likely. Uh, and what the really the most important thing is, I think, to, uh, to, 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 to look out for or to monitor. So that's what we'll do. Before we do that, I do want to say that if you want to receive daily trading signals, check out the links in either the pinned comment or the description. In the Discord server, you can also find, uh, find more results and stuff if you want to see that. And, uh, and, and soon I'll also try to get some testimonials. Um, <clears throat> but all right, so Ethereum right now, it's, it's really... Because of, I mean, I do have to say the markets right now are still very volatile and still pretty risky, I would say. Um, so could it be that we, we all of a sudden get a spike down? Yes. I do not think, though, that we will drop down below 1660. I think there's too much bullish momentum in the market. And I think the overall, overall outlook for the markets is also a little bit too bullish for that. And then we also, of course, have the Ethereum Shanghai upgrade coming soon, which I really haven't made my mind up, mind up yet whether I think that's bullish or bearish. Uh, but it certainly will bring volatility. Uh, so altogether, I think we'll, we'll stay on top of 1660. And I do think it's possible that we'll get a breakout above 1720. Um, but the, the, the main catalyst, I would say, in the markets right now, in the crypto markets right now, is the US monetary policy. Yesterday, we obviously had the inflation rate. We know how much we reacted to that. In exactly seven days, we'll have the interest rate. Um, and that's going to determine the, the direction of the market. And this week, we already have some economic events that can tell us a little bit more about that interest rate decision. Like retail sales today, um, but also initial jobless cl claims. And I think Friday... <clears throat> Well, Friday, not that much. I mean, the Michigan uh, consumer sentiment could say a little bit, but not that much. We do have inflation rate for, for the euro, uh, but we never really reacted to that. So, well, perhaps we will this time. I don't know. Um, it's interesting, at least for me. But so with this, we can already see more. I will keep you updated on that. It's uh, it's a little bit hard to, to put on into this video, but I think overall what to expect is a little bit more stability. Um, I still expect more volatility than, for example, uh, moves like these. Uh, but overall, I think we can just stay uh, moderately bullish, perhaps uh, break above 1720. It's not necessarily what I expect. Uh, the dollar strength index does look like it's dropping down further. So that would indicate a more bullish move for Ethereum. But overall, I expect some stability staying above 1660 and perhaps breaking above 1720. Uh, and rallying uh, <clears throat> or moving up towards 1760 uh, again but uh, as i said it's not uh, i'm not expecting that that bullish breakout but it's um, it's it's more likely i would say than breaking through 1660 but as i said i'll be back every single day with an ethereum update uh, updating you on the uh, current situation for now though i want to thank you for watching take care and bye